Video 10 Popular Cloud Companies, Services and Products In this video, we'll take a look at some popular public and private cloud companies, some popular cloud services and some popular cloud products. Public Cloud Companies Now let's have a look at some of the players in the public cloud space. The oldest one in infrastructure as a service is Amazon Web Services which started in 2006. It's been nine years since their release. Azure and Google have recently added services at the infrastructure layer. Google had platform as a service in form of Google application engine and have now entered into the infrastructure space with Google Compute Engine. This was 2013. Microsoft has also launched its infrastructure as a service component called Azure Infrastructure Services. Other players like IBM Software, Linode, and HP Cloud Services are also there. VMware has just announced its entry into infrastructure services as well. At the platform layer, there is Google Application Engine and Azure and Amazon's Elastic Beanstalk. AWS Beanstalk is kind of like a platform, but it also allows you a lot of flexibility. Some people might not consider it a pure platform, but that's fine. Salesforce was a revolutionary company that started providing software as a service way back in 2001 and now has a platform as a service offering called Force.com. In the private cloud space, there are different service providers too. Companies like Cisco, EMC, IBM, and HP provide both hardware and software. They sell the entire stack. They will set up the entire private cloud for a company. Then there are companies who only provide software, mostly open source. OpenStack is backed by Rackspace, NASA, HP, Cisco, and Apache Cloud Stack is backed by Citrix. Eucalyptus is a very interesting player in the market, mostly because it has the backing of Amazon. It has APIs which looks extremely similar to that of AWS. The APIs used by Eucalyptus to store data locally is similar to that of the API used by AWS to store data in S3. The API used to start a VM in Eucalyptus is very similar to the APIs used by AWS to launch an instance. They're trying to make things so seamless that companies can use Eucalyptus and virtually move from Eucalyptus to AWS or vice versa with ease. Cloud Storage Services In this section, we will look at some of the cloud services. So how do you store data reliably? The first idea here was to design hardware that never fails. A lot of research went into it and then they realized that it is futile and hardware will always fail. Then they came up with RAID array where you have redundant disk. So if one disk fails, you still have data on other disk. But here what happens when the RAID controller fails or two disks fail at the same time? Then data becomes unavailable. The latest trend for high availability data storage is to distribute the data across locations. Let's have a look at a cloud storage service. In step one, a request to store a file called mypic.jpg is received by data center one. As soon as DC1 copies it, it immediately copies it to multiple data centers. So now you have a copy in three different geographic regions. Some data centers are at least 50 to 100 miles away from each other. So if an unfortunate event such as a fire or a natural disaster were to uh, happen on one of the data centers, your data will still be available in the other data centers. Similarly, you can store report.doc. Now, what happens when something goes wrong with report.doc? Maybe the data got corrupted, the hard drive failed, uh, something of that sort happened. Right? The system recognizes that a copy is missing and it will immediately make a copy from one of the two other regions. This way, it will make sure that multiple copies of your data are available to you. The likelihood of these three copies getting deleted at the same time is very rare, especially because there are three different locations, three different data centers. 
With cloud storage services, generally you have some APIs like list, which will let you list your data and get, which will let you retrieve your data. When you do a delete, the data is deleted from all locations. Simple storage service. An example of a cloud storage service is Amazon Simple Storage Service or S3. It has 99.99% uptime guarantee, which means that only 52 minutes of downtime a year, which is phenomenal. It also has 11 nines of durability, which means that if 10,000 objects were stored, the probability of loss of a single object is once every 10 million years. Cloud Compute Services You can think of Cloud Compute Services as a farm of virtual servers. You make a request saying you want 10 servers to the service provider, the cloud service provider. The provider allocates you those 10 servers. You get the reference or IP address to those 10 servers using which you log into those 10 servers, deploy application or do whatever you want with those servers. After an hour, you need only five of those servers. So you release five of them. The servers get released. After another hour, you say, you're done and you release the remaining five. In the end, you have used 10 servers for one hour, another five servers for another hour. So in total, you have used 15 machine hours and that's what you are built for. Elastic Compute Cloud EC2. Amazon's EC2 is the best example of a cloud compute service. You can start servers in minutes. You can get a variety of machine sizes raising from one core to many, many cores and RAM starting from just 613 MB of RAM to many, many gigabytes of RAM. You get a variety of flavors of OS. You get Linux, uh, Ubuntu, OpenSUSE, Fedora, etc. You also get a lot of pre-configured machine types. So for example, you can get a Windows server with IIS pre-configured on it, a Linux server with Apache, PHP, MySQL, the entire LAMP stack on it and so forth. When the machine starts, all the software is already pre-configured on it. A lot of popular softwares like WordPress, a popular blogging platform are readily available on EC2. Microsoft SQL Azure. SQL Azure is a fully managed SQL database in the cloud. It had features like automatic failover, where if the primary fails, it can switch to the secondary database instance. Also, as the load increases, it can automatically scale up. It can also do sharding automatically and it can replicate across geographic regions automatically. It also has a cool feature called Azure Data Sync that lets you keep multiple databases in sync. Let's say you have two on-premise databases and one in SQL Azure. Data Sync will keep all of them in sync. If you make an update in one of the databases, for example, you insert a row in one of the databases, that update is automatically propagated on all the three database instances. Google Application Engine. Google Application Engine, also called GAE, is Google's platform as a service offering. The hardware, operating system, application runtime, Everything is part of the SDK. All you need is the code. You write your code using the SDK and deploy it to Google Application Engine. Everything else is taken care of by the platform. You can write your code in Java, Python, PHP, or Go languages. In this video, we talked about popular cloud companies. As you can see, this is a very robust and competitive space. In the next video, we'll look at some use cases for cloud computing.